Hi everyone, this is Caleb from Hackaday. Uh, we got our hands, or I got my hands, on a Nook Color yesterday. Uh, everybody's been posting videos of them rooted around the web, so we wanted to give it a try and see what it's like and show you guys what we think. Here it is. Decent construction, it feels solid, it's not flexible in any way. Specs are awesome, 800 megahertz processor, multi-touch screen, uh, decent resolution. Let's turn it on and check it out. As you can see, this is not the uh, the launcher that came with the Nook, although that is still accessible if you want to read your Nook books and stuff that you bought at the um, Nook store, whatever that is, Amazon store or uh, Barnes and Noble store. Uh, but what we're more interested in is Android uh, applications. As you can see, it's just like using an Android phone. It's nice and smooth. Now I don't have an Android phone so I'm not uh, extremely familiar with how everything works um, but there were a, a few pleasant surprises for me. Uh, here's one example. have the Pandora app which is nice. Works fine and I can multitask while I do that so I could be using Pandora and Google Maps. You'll notice it is multi-touch. Let's kill the music. Now since I'm not familiar with in, uh, Android stuff yet, I don't know how to kill a backgrounded app. So I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or if I'm just missing the buttons. Uh, now that is a common issue here is that we don't necessarily have all the buttons we need. Uh, one example here I'll show you is I found Raging Thunder, the video game racing game because I saw it in another video being played. However, I keep running into a brick wall that I don't have the right buttons to proceed into the game. Um, so I guess I just have the wrong version. Oh well. I've only had it a day or so, so we'll get that figured out and we'll move on beyond that. Uh, the app, the game everybody wants to see, of course, is Angry Birds. And that appears to be running fine. My kids have already beaten a bunch of levels and they like it. So what do we think? Um, haven't run it past all, everybody else yet, but I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, $250 gets you decent battery life, great resolution, multi-touch screen, you can root it, run your Android apps. Right now it's kind of a hassle because uh, you can't load apps um, off of any stores online. You have to download the APK files and so finding the right version is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. Uh, I think I have the wrong version of Raging Thunder, obviously, because uh, other people are playing it and it looks different. Um, uh, I found a few other things that wouldn't install, like the the version of Flash that I found, even though it was the 10.1, I guess it wasn't the right release, so it wouldn't install. I've seen it installed on other YouTube videos, but we're still in the infancy of getting this device usable so uh, it's pretty amazing the way it is I can't wait to see what they do with it in the near future um, that's about it pretty cool see you next time